Okay, this video is on uh, modules and programming in a modular fashion. Um, so we've just looked in the last tutorial um, how we can create functions um, and the benefits that, that brings. So often it will bring um, the benefits such as not having to repeat lots of code time and time again so we can reuse code which makes programming a lot more efficient. Um, and we can pass values into those functions, um, return values back after the functions have actually worked on that data. Um, so using functions is incredibly beneficial to programmers and you know as we carry on programming we should always be using functions to um, better organize our programs. Um, but what would be better still um, is if instead of actually having functions just within our main program it'd be great if we could store functions somewhere else so that if we made another program a third program or if someone else wanted to make a program um, they could actually use those functions instead of having to write them out themselves. So we're going to have a look at how we can actually make um, modules. So just to sort of give you a brief outline. Um, if you would imagine that um, illustration one shows um, a normal program that we may have created in the past, we've got our main block of code below, and we can call upon any one of, um, of well, in this case, three functions. Um, so we could pass values into those functions. They could work on that data and then pass values back. Um, but um, illustration two. Um, sort of shows um, how modules could actually be a little bit more beneficial. So if we could imagine that function 1 was stored in a, in a module, um, so another script, another file, and function 2 was in another file, and uh, function 3 was in another file. So we've got three different modules um, which any program could, um, could call those functions from. So you could have main program 1 calling functions 1 and 2, you could have main program 2 calling functions 1 and 3. So it doesn't matter um, how many programs you write, if you want to use those functions then you can at any time, providing that you've got those modules um, there to use. So I will now demonstrate how we can actually write different modules and how all this fits together. So if I was to load up PyScripter, let's start by creating a new file. Okay, As it says up here, it's module 1. So let's get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my first uh, module. And this is going to be a very, very simple module. And all it's going to do is it's going to uh, print, um, actually, let's say it's going to be get name. And all it's going to do is it's going to get the user to input, please enter your name like so and then it's going to return the name back to the main program when I start writing it. I'm going to go file and I'm going to save it and okay let's go back one and let's create a new folder modules example okay so I'll call this one uh, module one underscore um, name okay so I know exactly what's what so I'll save that one I'm going to create a new one and this module um, is gonna be turned into the main program so let's just comment on that let's wait for the computer to come back there we go so we'll call this main and all I want my program to do is to first of all run this function so that it asks for a name and then returns name back to the main program. But in order to actually run this function, what I need to do is I need to tell this particular program whereabouts uh, this function is. So I need to import the module. So in my main program, I'm going to go import and I'm going to give, I'm going to find the name of that module. So it was called module one. Underscore name. Now, usually it will actually find this um, particular module. It's not finding it at the moment because I need to save it in the same location. So I'm just going to save this main program. Let's call it module underscore main okay so now 
I am ready to actually start calling a function. So what I'll do is I will create a variable which is going to obviously get the return value and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in the name of that function. Now I called that function get name. So I'm going to say get name brackets. But the thing is that if I was just to write the name of the function it will be looking for a function in this particular module, in this particular script. I actually need to tell it whereabouts this function is. So what I'll do is I'll say that it is in module underscore name and then I'm going to write dot get name. So that is how we can actually reference the get name function in another module, in another location. So we're just prefixing the name of the module in front of the function name with a dot in between. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print name to prove to you that this is going to work. And then to stop my program from closing, I'll write input. So if I save all of those files and I go to file and run and I run this main program, this is what we get. Okay, so it's found the function and um, it is running this code. So it's saying, please enter your name and that's exactly what we can see just here. Please enter your name. So this is the main program run. It's called that function and we're waiting now for a name to be entered. So if I was to enter the name Sir and press enter, you can see it, it gets returned back into this main program and now we're ready to print name and that's why you can see Sir written down there. So that's kind of how modules um, work. It's no harder than we've done before. It just means that our functions are stored in separate files and we can call upon those functions in the same way that we've done before except the only difference is that we need to obviously put the name of the module in which the function is in first um, and also we need to import the module itself into the main program so that it knows exactly where all of this information is where all this code is so what we could do is we could make another module let's do another module and inside that one we'll have a function which perhaps will pass this new um, variable into it. It will find out how long that particular um, name is that someone's typed in, turn it back to the main program, and then we can have another print statement um, whereby we can see how long um, that particular name is. So what we'll do is we'll click on new, get rid of this again, and as I said, this one is going to be uh, name length. Now to get the uh, the name first of all imported into this function what I need to do is I'd obviously need to actually receive it in the form of a, um, a parameter. So let's just call it name for now and now I'm going to say that length equals len, so I'm going to use the len function to find out how long uh, this particular variable is in, ter um, in terms of the length of its characters and then I'm going to return length back to the main program. So I'm going to save this and I'm going to keep um, obviously in the same convention so this is going to be module 2 and this one is going to be called, let's call it name length. I'm going to save that. Okay so I'm going to go back to my main module, my main program I'm going to import that module. Now it's called module 2 name length because I've saved it, it can find it. So I've saved it next to the, the main file, it's found it. I'm going to select that one. Nope, that's not worked. There we go. And then I'm going to uh, write the next line of code so I can actually call upon that function. So it's going to be length equals module 2 name length dot and look it's automatically put name length for me because that's the name of the um, function that's in there and obviously I need to pass the variable name, that argument, into, um, into that function. So name is going to go into this function, it's going to be received here, we're going to find out the length of it, and then we're going to return length 
back into the main program and that's going to be picked up in this variable here. So now I could print uh, something like the length of your name is and then I can join with it the variable length Oops, like so and I might want to tidy this up as well and I'll say uh, your name is okay so let's see if this program works let's save all of those files let's go run an external run let's see if this works so please enter your name sir I've pressed enter it's printed your name is sir and then it's immediately called the other function it's worked out the length of um, that particular name in characters and it's presented it back uh, passed it back into the main program and we've presented it on the screen uh, using a print statement so that's how modules work modules as I said are just separate files separate scripts in your uh, main program carry on coding as normal but you must make sure you import any modules uh, that you want to use and in those modules just place the different functions that you might uh, need to use so that now mean, means that if tomorrow I wanted to make another program um, instead of uh, and, and I wanted to find out what the user's name was instead of having to write that code out again I could simply import module one underscore name and the function is already there for me to use okay so hopefully that is now understood